you know, it's beautiful out here, you know, around nature and to be around nature and just to enjoy it. But there's a difference, you know, when I started the journey of being a nomad, one of the things I had to think about is what type did I want to have. So when I'm going across country, I have a lot of opportunities to uh, either boondock or to live within the city or outside the city. I've done boondocking because I had a friend of mine that also is a, a nomad, but he, he, he's a little bit different than me. He's more like the nomad you as he picked it off the movie of the nomad land. And really, it's about people are forced to do it. They have to do it because I have a dire necessity. Either have lack of income or lack of funds. And so they're forced to do it. So they're almost like have to force to get into a situation where they have to try to like it. And that, to, to me, is a, is a nightmare. All my conscious decision, and there's a lot of us all out there like it. I would say more of us that are self-sufficient over remote income than not. Most of us that live in nice, either a nice vehicle or an RV or a trailer uh, and, and are not just boondocking. Like, so for a nomad such as myself, I call myself a black pavement nomad. And for a nomad such as myself, it'd be almost impossible for me to even think about boondocking or camping all the time because that's really what boondocking to me is is camping 